The Southside Scoop just got better. We now have our own website. If you missed a show or just want to see one again, you could watch them all online. Not only does the website have all the latest shows, but it gives you some more information about what broadcast is about. You may also check out our blog space, giving you all the latest news throughout the community and around our world. Not only are our shows on the website, but you could also check out our YouTube channel, Southside Scoop, with all of the shows. Don't forget to visit www.southsidescoop.com. and welcome to the Southside Scoop. I'm Sung Ha. And I'm Zach Ergitz. And today is a black day. So Sung, I heard that the Lady Panthers had a huge win last night. Right, know. against someone that's been giving them trouble lately. Someone that does give them trouble, it seems like, every time they play them. But they came out on top last night, and that's a good win for them. Right, and I have more on that. Yes, you do. Congratulations to the Lady Panther basketball team on their four-point upset over conference leader Raytown last night. The girls overcame a 15-point deficit to win the game. The Lady Panthers take on Raytown South on Thursday night. Moving on to tennis, any girls interested in novice tennis are invited to participate in a tennis clinic at the Northland Racquet Club on four consecutive Wednesdays at 3 to 4 p.m. If you're interested, please sign up with Mrs. Patterson ASAP. They would like to start the clinic within the next two weeks, so hurry on over and pick up additional information today. Freshmen, sophomores, and juniors, listen up. Enrollment sheets are due in the counseling office tomorrow. Make sure you get those turned in. What you also need to do is turn in your da dance form. Visitor dance permission forms are available at the security desk, um, are visible at the security desk by 3 p.m. tomorrow. Before you go to the dance, you need to buy a ticket. Student Council will be selling court warming tickets during lunch this week. Couple tickets are $10 and single tickets are $7. Ticket prices will raise at the door, so make sure you buy yours sometime this week. If you would like to be a part of all that Student Council does, listen up. Park Hill South Student Council brings you Big Cat, Battle of the Bands, Assemblies, Homecoming, Bell Tower, and much more. Join this class to be a part of it and change, and change things here at South. Applications are now available outside room B107 and are due by February 7th. See Ms. Matthews or Ms. Jones for more information. Now here's some news for all of you singers out there. Students planning to sing in a Park Hill South choir next year should sign up. Um, um, now on the registration form for the choir of their choice, auditions for a cappella choir and South Boulevard singers will take place on February 21st, 22nd, and 23rd. See Ms. Brockhoff in the choir room if you have any questions. Any natural helper or other student interested may attend the anti-bullying session tomorrow at 7 a.m. in the library. Dr. Chad Sayer will be presenting, so be there promptly at 7 because he will need as much time as possible to share his information. Hopefully you're wearing your Park Hill wear today as we are to jinx them for our game on Friday. To continue Spirit Week, make sure you wear your cowboy attire for Wild West Wednesday tomorrow. Yes, yeah, so we are wearing our red. While well, I'm wearing my red, you're wearing your Park Hill gear at the X. That's yeah, with the X. very cool. And someone else that's wearing red is actually Raymond. And I know Raymond has more for us, so take it away with Twitter Tuesday, Raymond. Thanks, guys. Yesterday, we asked you to follow Southside Scoop and tag us with your opinion of Sopa and Pippa. Some of the responses we had were one person said, Sopa is the worst idea ever. Another person said, Sopa destroys the idea of a free country. It puts us one step closer to systems like China. And lastly, someone said, now is not the time to be worrying about passing laws about things that don't affect the economy or jobs. Hashtag get to work Congress. And Washington must be listening because the bill is currently dead in Congress. Now let's take it over to Seth with the weather. Thanks for that, Raymond. On the lunch menu, we have homemade turkey noodle, soup and beef cheese slider, hot dog on bun, shrimp poppers, and the premium meal is the pasta bar. Well, so I those sound like some decent choices. And happy birthdays go out to Jessica Butler, Janae Hammond, Clayton Hawkinsmith, Alexis Newsom, and Ryan Smith. Happy birthday, guys. Well, that's all we have for you today on the Southside Scoop. I'm Sung Ha. And I'm Zach Ergitz. Make sure you wear your Wild West attire tomorrow, and have a great day, Park Hill South.